I'm trying not to cry in this video. I'm trying to help you guys out, but I just... <laughs> Oh my god, now the sun is gonna come out, it's gonna mess with my lighting. <laughs> Dig it. Ugh. Hola, amigos. I am here to do a different type of video, and I know I always say that I'm going to be doing a different type of video, but this time it's something that I've never really done. It's almost like a how-to emotionally. I want to go ahead and apologize for the lighting in advance just because there's clouds, there's sun, there's rain. It's Washington weather for you. Anyways, so... Everyone's had their heart broken, I would think, in one way or another, whether that be significant other, friendships, all that good stuff. And I know that broken hearts lean more into relationships, but honestly, your heart can be broken if a pet dies, if a friendship ends, if you don't get that job, if something doesn't pan out like you want it to. It's a part of life and we learn to deal with it. I'm not even into the video like a minute and I'm already crying. This is great. Good stuff, Camille. This is good for them views. <laughs> All right, okay. Whew. All right, so this is just a video on how I deal with heartbreak or sadness. This is how I deal with it and advice that I give people that are having a hard time and yeah. So the first thing that I always say is to keep busy. Never allow yourself to sit there, ponder, think about the what ifs, the if only I could, or anything that could have made the situation different. Sitting and pondering is the worst thing that you can do. The way that I say to keep yourself busy is to do new things, to seek out adventures, even if that's going solo, or you know, me and adventures. It's my go-to, it's my serenity, it's my thing. <laughs> Along with the keeping busy is self-improvement. You cannot go wrong with self-improvement. Invest in yourself because at the end of the day, that's who you have. Friends come and go, boyfriends, girlfriends come and go, partners come and go. So I say invest in you, whether that be going to the gym or treating yourself. You know, I'm gonna take that from Melissa. Best friend Melissa always says that to treat yourself, spa manicure, pedicure, all that good stuff. I always tell people this because I think that it's super important. Don't deny the fact that you're sad, that you're heartbroken, that you're just down in the dumps. Allow yourself time to sulk and be sad for a day or two because you just need to let out all that emotion and all those feelings are just like pent up and you just need to make sure that you just like let it all go first before you like start the healing process. Again, if I know it's not possible in a day or two to mend a broken heart, but if you give yourself that one or two days, honestly, looking back on it, you'll just be like, holy crap, I was crying for no reason. Maybe. <laughs> and like I always say, you know, like give yourself a day or two to cry and then you gotta be gangster about it, you know? Put on your hoops, put on your red lipstick, go about your day, go about your business, yeah. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people do this when they're sad because it's a thing to do, I guess, is travel. I know that sometimes people don't have the money or, you know, the extra expense that they can allow themselves. But honestly, when I say travel, it doesn't have to be international. It could also be local. Adventuring in your own backyard, finding something new that you've driven past multiple times. It's amazing what you can find in your neighborhood if you just go out and look, you know, or just get lost, you know. <laughs> this thing was a big thing for me. Sorry, I keep looking down. I have notes. <laughs> Uh, is documenting it. I will say that I have a ton of private videos on YouTube that are just for me during my hard times, during the highs and the lows of my life, where I know that, you know, I'm picking up a camera and I'm ugly crying. But at the end of the day, I look back on those vlogs and they're almost like a learning tool. And they're also, look how far I've come. It's just amazing to see at the beginning of something so sad and then where you're at now it's like the progression through those times is amazing it's amazing the human spirit and how it can be mended with time i'm trying not to cry in this video i'm trying to help you guys out but i just <laughs> oh my god okay okay now the 
make it red. Great. <laughs> Alright. But yes, it's amazing how something that was that made you so sad or something that was such a low point in your life, you can look back on now and you're just like, wow, look how upset I was over something that's so minute today. And it's just amazing. Like, I don't know. For me, anyways, I document everything and I have videos upon videos that are private just for me and just for like memory purposes and just... I don't know, maybe I'll release them someday, but I, I don't know when. <laughs> okay. Get it, tuck out our camera. Okay, we're making some mess and I'm I'm too lazy to look at it. So if I have like dots or something or like makeup messed up, then you're just gonna have to deal. Okay, and then the last thing is to get back into a routine. Life doesn't stop because you're sad. Life doesn't stop because you lost a friend or a friendship is done. Life doesn't stop when your boyfriend breaks up with you, when your girlfriend, your partner breaks up with you, etc, etc. So you just gotta keep going. Each day is going to be easier as you keep it going, but I will say the first day, couple days, week, it's gonna be hard to get back into the routine you had when something else is missing or when you're sad, you know? So at the end of the day, you just gotta get back into it and do it day by day because there's so much more out there as far as life and sitting and sulking and being sad about it is just not a way to go about it and I've learned that the hard way in some cases and yeah and I'm still learning now so yeah <laughs> um god I don't even know I'm crying like I'm trying to like oh how to deal with a broken heart. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Okay guys. Um, obviously I'm just the waterworks are here. We're just going to end it this way just because to end it this way. But I promise you guys I am fine. I am good. I am thriving. I am good. Alright. Well if you guys like this type of video where I'm just like bawling my eyes, my eyes out and just being a little whiny baby. Uh, give it a thumbs up, I guess. Or thumbs down, whatever. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. It would totally make my day. And um, I will see you guys later for another video. Bye. Wow, you guys. That was a trial to film. Oh my gosh. A trial. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to reiterate that yes, you guys, I am okay. I am good. I am just going through some things and it's going to be okay. It always is. It always turns out to be okay. So 